Hello friends, welcome back to Rising Mathematics. In this video, I am going to solve exercise question from book Topics in Algebra from Chapter 3, Ring Theory. Question is, let R be a ring in which x cube is equal to x for every element x in ring R. Prove that R is a commutative ring. So, proof. Firstly, we will show that if for some element x in ring R, we have x square is equal to 0, then we get x is equal to 0. For this, let us consider x square is equal to 0. This implies x dot x square is equal to 0. This implies x cube is equal to 0. Now, in our ring R, we have x cube is equal to x. So, we get x is equal to 0. So, we have shown that if for some element x in ring R, x square is equal to 0, then the element x is equal to 0. And we are going to you, uh, call this result as star. And we will use this result in our remaining proof. Now, next we will show that x square commutes with all elements in ring R. For this we have x square y minus x square y x square its square will be x square y minus x square y x square dot x square y minus x square y x square. After solving this we get after multiplying x square y with this x square y x square y minus x square y x square y x square. Again after multiplying minus x square y x square with this we get minus x square y x square x square y plus x square y x square x square y x square. Now this x square dot x square can be written as x to the power 4 with remaining terms as it is. But we have x to the power 4 can be written as x cube dot x which is equal to x dot x since x cube is x. So we get x to the power 4 is equal to x square. So in above expression replacing these two x to the power 4 with x square we get x square y minus x square y x square its square is equal to x square y x square y minus x square y x square y x square minus x square y x square y plus x square y x square y x square. Now here we can observe that all these terms get cancelled. So we get x square y minus x square y x square its square is equal to 0. Now this is some arbitrary element of ring R whose square is 0. So from the result star we have x square y minus x square y x square is equal to 0. That is x square y is equal to x square y x square. Call this expression as 1. Again we can show that y x square minus x square y x square its square is equal to 0 following the similar calculation. Therefore we have from star y x square minus x square y x square is equal to 0 that is y x square is equal to x y sorry x square y x square and we are going to call this as 2. Then from 1 and 2 we have RHS are same so LHS must be same that is x square y is equal to y x square for all element x y in ring R that is x square commutes with all elements in ring R. Now for all elements x y in ring R we have x y is equal to x y cube this y can be written as y cube. Again rewriting this we get x y square y. Now y square will commute with x so we get y square x y. Again this x can be written as x cube so we get y square x cube y which can be written as y square x x square y. Again this x square commutes with this y so we get x square y y x square which can be written as y dot y x y x dot x. Again using associativity we can write y dot y x dot y x dot x. Again this can be written as y y x its square x. Now this will commute with y so we get y x y x square which is equal to y x its cube and y x its cube will be y x since this y x is some arbitrary element of ring R. So, we get x y is equal to y x for all elements x y in ring R showing that our ring R is a commutative ring and this proves our result.